Today is Wednesday, February 25th. Paris has seen an outbreak of drones flying over the city at night. I'm Kylie Horsley. And I'm Brighton Chandler. If you see smoke on Bogus today, don't worry. The Forestry Service is playing with matches. Your CSN News starts now. Drones have been seen flying over landmarks in Paris for a second night running. French media reported five sightings in the city center bet overnight between 11 p.m. Tuesday and 2 a.m. Wednesday. The night before, at least five drones flew over the Eiffel Tower, the U.S. Embassy and other landmarks, authorities said. There have been several mysterious drone overflights around France in recent months. An investigation is underway to see who is operating the drones and why. Such flights are banned over Paris skies. The Boise National Forest Mountain Home Ranger District plans to ignite a prescribed burn adjacent to Bogus Basin Ski Resort Thursday, if weather conditions permit, according to a Forest Service news release. The burn is anticipated to begin around noon and end near 5 p.m. The goal is to complete the burn before the rain or snow that is forecasted for Friday. No burning is planned during the weekend. The project goal is to burn open patches of ground under or near tree wells where the snow has melted. The planned project covers about 300 acres below the ski resort's main parking lot and near the Nordic Trails. For hundreds of years, the arrival of the bubonic plague in Europe in the mid-14th century has been blamed on rats. However, a new study released this week has put a different rodent under suspicion, gerbils. Scientists at the University of Oslo in Norway have claimed that the deadly disease was repeatedly brought to Europe from Asia via trade routes such as Silk Roads and with gerbils, not rat rats, as the character. Carriers. Researchers found that outbreaks in Europe occurred approximately 15 years after a spell of wet weather and warmer temperature in Asia, which would have bolstered the gerbils and flea population. By contrast, the timing of outbreaks in Europe did not appear to coincide with any weather pattern on the continent. We'll be right back after this. CSN Broadcasting adopted a shark, a mature great white female named Lydia, who measures 14 feet, 6 inches, and approximately 2,000 pounds. Since she was tagged in Florida, she's traveled around 32,000 miles. She treks all over the East Coast and Mid-Atlantic. Most of her time is spent off the southern coast of Newfoundland. Lydia last surfaced February 24, 2015 at 10.31 p.m. beginning to pass Bermuda. You can track Lydia's movement and progress on osarch.org. Check out her profile, view her pictures and videos, and experience the life of a shark. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 55, low 34, sunny. Tomorrow's high is 53 with a low of 23 and showers. Columbia High School is hosting an NCAA presentation on Monday from 6 p.m. from 6 to 8 p.m. in their library. All student athletes and their parents who are interested in pursuing collegiate athletics are invited to attend. Matt Stewart, Assistant Athletic Director for Academics at Idaho State University, and his team will talk about general NCAA eligibility requirements and answer questions. So mark it down and plan on coming, athletes. The BSU Center for Multicultural and Educational Opportunities is pleased to invite you, your family, and friends to a free showing of First Generation, an award-winning film which chronicles the journeys of four high school students who dream of being the first in their families to attend college. This excellent film brings to light many of the challenges and obstacles that first-gen students face as they make their dreams a reality. The presentation is Tuesday, March 3rd at 6 p.m. at the BSU Special Events Center and is free. Parking is available in the Lincoln Avenue garage. Immediately following the film, there will be a discussion panel with first-gen students who participated in the programs. Today's SAT word of the day is prosaic, which means dull and matter-of-fact. You could use it this way. The prosaic writer was unable to spark the imagination of children. That's the news. We'll see you right here tomorrow on the Hawk Daily News.